morning, good morning, wherever you are, or good evening. I am going to turn this little flasher off. I pulled over to the side just to talk to you. Happy Sunday for those of you who are listening. My name is Jackie. I'm the founder and director of Route to Victory, and I'm also a lifestyle and financial coach. So normally I come on Monday, one Monday. Hello, welcome. Monday, Wednesday, and hello, Kevin. Oh, Calvin, I'm sorry. How are you doing? Um, normally I come on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. But I came on today, I'm on my way to church to talk about assemble and resemble. First of all, um, Friday, it, I had a, a awesome experience. I had the opportunity to assemble or to gather with some um, wonderful people. Um, Evelyn Watson um, at the recharge and and winter and forgive me winter. I forgot what your last name. <laughs> blame it on the mind and not on the heart. Hello, Henry. Thank you for joining me. And it was an awesome assembly where women had gathered together and healing had began. And the Holy Spirit had took over the space and it was an awesome move of God. Um, one of the reasons why, and I won't be long because like I said, I'm on my way to church. I wanted to do, I wanted to just talk about assemble and and resemble and what those things are because um a lot of times we we go to places and we think something is something that it, we think hello hello Leron thank you for joining me we think we confuse assemble with resemble like i know some people might hear that and say i know what assemble is are you saying I'm dumb? No, I'm not. I, listen to the definition. Assemble means, according to dictionary.com, to gather together in one place for one common purpose. Resemble means to have qualities or features, especially of those appearing in common, look like or seem like. One of the reasons why I, I'm bringing this, and this is why I say people get confused with those two terms, assemble and resemble, because a lot of times we are associating with people or things and, and we are not gathering for one common purpose, okay? In fact, when you assemble with things or people who are not in that place for that common purpose that you are, what it does, it hinders your purpose. It hinders where you are going in life. This is the reason why we have to understand that we have to make sure that we are assembling ourselves or gathering ourselves with people who can help us learn. Hello, Hall, thank you for joining. People who can help us grow, people who can help help us laugh, help enjoy life, and not people who are there to destroy you or tear you down. Just because you feel like these people are popular, just because you feel like if you don't be around this person, you'll be alone. And that person is hindering your growth. Assembling or attaching things like debt and uh depression, um, gathering the wrong things and bringing it home or bringing it, bringing it to the heart. And it hinders your purpose. It hinders your goal. It hinders where you are going. Because if you, if you desire to be successful, if you desire to be debt free, if you desire to have a successful marriage, a successful relationship with your money, a successful career wherever you want to go it has your lifestyle has to resemble it has to resemble it you have to see those qualities in that see because a lot of times we bring it home 
We bring it home things that we that was never meant for us. There's an old saying saying um about bringing home a dog and being surprised that it has a fleas or something like that. I, I, I don't really remember exactly how it how it happens, but a lot of times we are assembling or we we are gathering people and we're calling them, oh, this man is going to be my husband because you're looking at the outside apparent appearances and you thinking that that person resembles a good man or you thinking that person resembles a good woman and that is and, and and in fact that person is a hindrance or you thinking that if you take all your money and you don't track it and you don't um and you don't strategically plan how you spend your money that it's going to bring you wealth because you took all your check and you bought lottery tickets or you took all your check and you bought, you played the lotto. And you told yourself, if you gather those things in one place, it'll help you reach your goal. But you did it in a foolish manner because it that activity does not resemble act, uh, activities of wealth. It doesn't resemble activity. It it, it re, have people um, played the lotto and got rich. Yes, they have. But everybody does not get rich or wealthy or successful in the same manner. Here's a ver here's two verses I'm gonna leave you with. First Corinthians, First Corinthians eleven and one says, "Be." imitators of me just as I am also of Christ see God uh, went about and he saw the hearts of man he did not walk around and just look at the outward appearances he assembled himself for the common purpose of healing and helping people grow closer to God Closer to who? It's closer to their authentic self. The other verse I want to give you is First John, second and sixth verse. I mean, excuse me, First John two and six. The one who says he abides abides in him all him all himself to walk in the same manner as he walked so in other words if you if you abide in christ or if you abide in a certain uh aspect of life say if you are married i'm just saying for example if you have a desire to be married you should walk in a mar in in the matter as though you are married if you are, if you want to be successful, you should develop habits and traits to be successful. So before I end it, before I end it, we're going to do our confessions because Monday is a new day. And what I'm going to do Monday is I am going to come on in the morning and do the uh, the confession and the prayer. But I will not be on Monday evening. Okay? Uh, I won't be on Monday evening at 6 p.m. I may try to pop in if, I'm, if I can during the lunch. Hello. Thank you for joining me. So let's do this. Because, hi Debbie, because the thing is, we are, this is, this is knowing, uh, learning about assembling or, and resembling is very important because we want favor. We want favor in our life. We want, 
we want healing we want all we want to be able to manifest all those great things that we've been asking god for but in order hello larry in order for those things to manifest we have to understand we have to open our mindset and understand what those things are and i'm not saying that you're going to be perfect but you have to walk in that manner you have not not in a manner of perfection but you walk in a, in a manner as though you're healing or though you have already reached that goal that you're trying to reach for example if you're trying to lose weight for example it, your weight goal may be to lose 40 pounds so what does that look like yeah fa uh debbie says favor healing to manifest yes in order for healing to manifest or your favor to manifest, you have to understand what assembly and what res resemblance uh, is, what the true definition is. Because a lot of times we fool ourselves and we say something is this, but it does not have the characteristics. In order for something to resemble something, it has to have the, the character. Uh, so in other words, it's that saying, if it walk like a duck, quack like a duck, it must be a duck. But sometimes we call in something that really is not true. It, it don't look like a duck. It don't quack like a duck. It don't walk like a duck, but we calling it a duck. See, but our goal is to have favor. So let's get this confession and we're going to do this prayer and then I'm going to let you all go. Because like I said, I'm on my way to church. Okay. God, um, let's do the prayer first. I want to do the prayer and then we can do the confession real quick. Okay. Father, we thank you for another day of strength and favor. We come to you with humble and sincere heart, asking you to forgive us for our sins, our wrongdoing that we have done. Cover it with your love. We repent and ask you to help us walk according to your will and your voice. We submit to the leaning of the Holy Spirit and ask you to use our gifts and our talents to be a blessing to others. God, we thank you that you are using somebody somewhere to use their abilities and talents to help us. Favor is our portion. Favor is our portion. According to Psalms 512, for you, O Lord, will bless the righteous with favor. You will surround him as with a shield. According to Psalms 23, 5 and 6, you prepare a table before me at the presence of my of my enemies. You appoint you anoint my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodly goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. According to Psalms 97, favor, let the favor of the Lord our God be upon upon me and establish the work of my hands. Yes, establish the work of my hands. So I decree and declare that the favor of God is all around us. I decree and declare, we decree and declare that no shall turn into yes. We decree and declare that denials are turning into approval. We decree and declare that whatever, wherever our feet go, that favor of God goes with us every step. Our emotion and what we see shall not block what's coming to pass lord we ask that you help us recognize what to assemble what to assemble or gather with in order for us to achieve our purpose what favor truly looks like lord what your glory what uh, our authentic selves really look like lord god we ask that lord god that our emotions and what we see do not shall not block what's coming to pass we are funnels of favor you're using us in ways that we could not even imagine imagine isaiah 40 and 8 declares the grass withers the flower fades but the word of god shall stand forever so we are standing on your word 
Heavenly Father, you shall perform your word. The promises are coming to pass in our lives. We will not walk according to what we see, but according to what we believe because our faith is in you. We thank you that angels are coming before us and are setting for favor to release into the environment before we even walk into the, the room. We decree and declare that miracles, signs, and wonders are being released into our lives. We are in expectancy of great things that will blow our mind in Jesus' name. So I'm going to read what Debbie had typed. She typed, resemble is, resembles is a, is a set up an adversary, adversary, adversity, Here's our prayers too. She, uh, she typed Psalms 23, yes indeed. She also typed, surely uh, 91st Psalms is our protection and 23 Psalms is favor. Debbie put thankful for all your inspirational message. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. So we're going to do the, uh, the confession, the confession. God, we thank you that your favor is working nonstop for us. When we awake and when we sleep, when we speak your word, favor manifests in the areas of our life. So right now we speak things are working for our good according to Romans 8 and 28. Favor go to work today. We decree and declare that we do not have the spirit of fear according to 2 Timothy 1 and 7. We have the power of love. We have power, love, and the sound mind. We do not have fear. We have faith to walk in favor we pick today favor today we pick overflow and abundance in life we pick grace and truth on today father we thank you that favor is in our names that it is going ahead of us that uh, we have been chosen by you your will in the marketplace your will in our environment favor is already flowing in our life and in our business, in our career, in our relationships, in our marriages, in our finances. Favor is our name. So when people say our name, let favor run like a mighty river unto life. We speak favor with men. We speak favor with vendors. We speak favor with partners. We speak favor with investors. We speak favor with customers. We speak favor with clients. We speak favor over the phone. We speak favor in emails. We speak favor in person. We speak favor in meetings, favors in, and talks, favors in events. Favor be released in every way. Go to work. Debbie also wrote... Confession is good for the inspiration of our soul. She also wrote, faithful grace is sufficient for me. Amen to that. Amen to that. So, I will be on Monday morning. Generally, I come on um, around 7-ish. Early in the morning. Not 7 is. I mean around 6 in the morning. Um when I come on early in the morning. I'm coming on at six in the morning on Monday because I will not be on 6 p.m. on Monday, okay? Um, there's a lot of exciting things that I cannot announce now that are in the works. And in order for it to manifest and me to have favor, I have to completely commit to it um, Debbie wrote favor with all we have, with all we do. Amen. Am and amen. Th again, thanks very much for your help, sister. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for coming on and thank you for commenting. Um, so anyway, I won't be on at 6 p.m. Tom tomorrow. So I'm coming on 
on Monday, we're going, and I'm only going to do the, uh, the the new confession for the week and the prayer. And if God give me a word to say, I will give you those words um, of encouragement, of strength, of growth. That's all I have. My name is Jackie. I'm the founder and director of Route to Victory. I'm also a lifestyle and financial coach. Route to Victory was created to help you learn money, um, excuse me, money management, eliminate debt, build self-reliance, and financially create the lifestyle that you desire. If any of the broadcasts that I do are inspirational to you, please uh, make sure you stay connected okay stay connected we have to assemble with it's important if you don't if you don't remember anything else i say remember to assemble yourself with people that have one common purpose whatever your purpose is you need to gather yourself with people who share the same common purpose in order for you to truly grow and that your activities and the people that you gather with to help you grow need to resemble, need to have those qualities of that thing. All right. Thank you all. I hope you all are, are blessed by the information I gave, gave. I hope you continuously to be inspired. I hope God blesses you with, I hope you receive the favor of God in your life today. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you, replayers. Make sure y'all um, give me hearts, thumbs ups. Um, laugh if I said anything that was funny to you. But whatever you do, stay connected. Goodbye.